Uh, we got a call, the customer was saying they had a fire in their bathroom fan and uh, the whole fan burnt up and fell out of the out of the ceiling. So I kind of was like, okay, maybe, maybe it shorted out and some sparks came out and it turned off, but definitely wasn't expecting there to actually be a, a, like a fire in the ceiling fan. So did you get any pictures? I got a photo of it, of it after, but I didn't get a picture. So it fell out of the ceiling after it burnt because all the connections and everything had completely melted and it just fell out of the ceiling. And it was so hot, it, when it hit the toilet bowl, it cracked the toilet in half, all the water went everywhere. So I didn't, unfortunately, didn't get a picture of that. That was all taken out before I got there. But the uh, I took a picture of the fan box in the ceiling and it was just all black. Like, oh. There was nothing that wasn't just bare metal in there and smoke. <laughs> well, he's lucky his house didn't catch on fire. Very lucky. Right? So we so, kind of looked at it a bit yeah. and we're wondering why, why nothing tripped, why nothing shut off. And uh, I think what happened when we went down to the panel is that the breakers, the way the service mask came in, it could have let water kind of track through that mast into the panel and the breakers from getting wet over and over got corroded internally. Because when you turn them on and off, they didn't, it wasn't a smooth on off. Mm -hmm. It was a, it sounded like there was a lot of friction in there and the breaker wasn't, wasn't operating as it should because it definitely should have tripped.